Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 8th, 2022. Well, the battle lines have been drawn on these charts, as you can see, and we're struggling in here to decide which way we're going to go. The bulls have been holding up very, very strong, but we have some data coming out this week that could also have a major influence on the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So as we can see here, as um, I have clearly defined here um, with our downtrend and resistance in the chart, we've got this battle line here, and this is where the bulls and bears will have to figure out if they're going to, who's going to win this battle as we consolidate in this wide ranging chop around that resistance area now clearly we continue to hold this upside trend so in the short term move here we are bullish in the longer term a little bit on the bearish side there still and we're trying to decide whether or not we can push on through now honestly i feel like we're a little bit overextended in the short term here in the market with bad jobs with a well i shouldn't say bad a good jobs number a very hot jobs number coming in and now we have this week we're going to run into some CPI and PPI inflationary data so it could be an interesting week ahead of uncertainty let's take a look um, at our technicals here in the chart now our technicals you can see that rounded bottom breakout is in play here in the Dow and we're pressing into these resistance levels up here above um, with a 200 day um, price action above and considerable price resistance here in the chart so kind of an interesting place here for the market to be with the amount of uncertainty that we have ahead and then if we take a look at our spy spy doing the same thing we're pushing up here short-term upside trend is certainly in play that is bullish down side trend and significant price resistance just above um, kind of shows where those bears might be willing to fight and defend and the bulls trying to push hard to break us through those levels so boy i don't know what the answer is here but we can probably expect some interesting drama this week as earnings continue to roll out and we wait on some of that data now if we take a look at our qqq very similar situation with just a little bit of a change here notice that we push through this little bit of resistance here in the downtrend um, the nasdaq has been one of the stronger of the indexes um, unfortunately we continue to see these low volumes and we'll talk about that again here with the t2101 but rel relatively low volumes as we push up i'm not really sure we're getting all the commitment that we would like to see from our institutions on here just yet maybe they're hedging their bet around this inflation i don't know but our short-term upside trend does remain in effect and we are pressing into that downtrend uh, trying to see if we can push on through so keep a close eye on that now remember we can pop through those areas and we've done that before if we go back here and take a look at the dow we have popped through those downtrends before but remember we want to see that proof after if we can pop through if we can pop through that we can hold that higher low then I'm going to be probably all bullish in the market if we can prove that. Um, if we cannot, though, of course, that would be the place where we might be thinking short. Let's take a look at um, our Russell. IWM is making a good push here this morning. Pre-market pump is underway, and we're trying to push through that resistance level right now here on IWM in the pre-market. Notice that we've already popped through this downtrend, so the small caps are really trying to come around here and provide some push to the upside. So if we can pop through and hold up here, well, then there we go. We're, the bull market is underway, and we'll want to watch that closely. Now, let's take a look at our VIX. 
our VIX, interestingly enough, on Friday, um, although we were down most of the day and rallied right at the end of the day, we finally were able to pop through and break that little bit of a low right there after uh, just kind of bouncing up in there in that chart. Now we're back down here around that 20 handle here in the market and that's a support level, as you can see, all the way across that chart, a support level in the VIX. And it's also one of those areas where we start to worry just a little bit about that potential of a complacency where we kind of get a little bit ahead of ourselves here in the market but that being said the bulls are in control downtrend resistance above there's no question about that so just watch that support area down here around that 20 handle then let's take a look at our t2122 T2122 remains elevated. Now we started a little bit of a pullback here on Friday, um, dipped down below that little area up here of bearish resistance, but just pushed right back up at right at the end of the day, there was a surge back up in that chart. So what we have here um, on today is if those bulls can find inspiration, we certainly have opened up some upside opportunity uh, for the bulls to push on through if they can find that inspiration. And if the bears find some inspiration, we certainly have um, a pretty big um, space that we could move down here in the chart. So we'll want to watch that closely here. And I don't know which way we're going to, be going to go. Now, if we take a look at um, our T2107, we continue to try to show that bullishness here in the chart. But at least at this point, we're continuing to see that fight at the bull and bear resistance area in the chart that I showed you. And we continue to struggle here along this price resistance level. So while we're looking pretty good, we had a little bit of a little tiny pullback in our T2107 on Friday, still struggling with that price resistance. And then if we take a look at our T2108, our T, whoops, T2108, um, also pulled back just ever so slightly and then started to poke back up right at the end of the day. And we continue to stay pretty elevated here. Now we have broken this downtrend, so I gotta give that to the bulls, but we'll wanna watch in here that we're pretty extended in the short term. But maybe those um, um, earnings events can keep us fired up here and trying to push through that resistance level in the chart. Once again, remember, if we push through those resistance levels in the chart, we need to see proof that we can hold it as support. If we can hold it as support, then let's all get on the bullish side of this market. If we fail there, that's going to be the challenge. Um, our T2101, again, guys, I'm going to pass right on by it because I think our T2101 is not giving us the best of data here because we continue to remain relatively anemic as we rally here in the market. So we'll want to watch that closely. Um, I would love to see a little bit more commitment from the institutions here that they're really willing to back these stocks. I think maybe um, retail might be might be running the chance of getting just a little bit ahead of themselves here. So be kind of careful. Now if we take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. We don't have a whole lot going on on that economic calendar. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple short-term bond auctions to worry about investor movement index, which no one's gonna pay much attention to. But then we're going to start moving into some heavier stuff middle of the week here. We got productivity and costs, no big deal on Tuesday, but this is where um, things could get kind of interesting particularly with that CPI. Um, with that hot jobs number on Friday, that does raise some questions about that narrative that the talking heads have been putting out there, that inflation has topped. Well, maybe not. And we'll want to watch that number closely. If we were to get a disappointment in CPI, um, that could certainly deflate that bullish move here in the market pretty quickly. So watch that closely. And then we're going to get the PPI on Thursday. So a couple of those reports that could um, either support those bulls, um, um, intuition that the market is getting better from here, or really run into some trouble here um, if it shows us that 
well, we've been buying a narrative that's not so great yet. So watch that close. I don't know what the answer is going to be, but I would be watching that carefully. And with that in mind, I would kind of suggest the possibility that we could see some choppy range bound markets here. So you might get some of those buy signals popping into charts, but you might want to be careful not to chase too many of them because they may be popping and dropping and dropping and popping and all over the place here in a price range as we wait for that data. So keep a close eye on that. And then on our earnings calendar today, we have a pretty busy day. There's over 200 companies listed on the calendar, but um, a large number of those are unconfirmed reports. However, we do have quite a list of notables here for this morning. So I can't cover them all, but I will try to do my best to cover a few of those here this morning. And then if you want to uh, catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video, and that will take you back to the morning blog. Let's take a look. Um, DDD will be reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got some insurance in there with AIG um, setting to report. Uh, Barry Gold um, will be reporting today. Gold has been struggling a lot with that strong US dollar. And uh, that's still gonna be an issue that we're gonna have to pay attention to here pretty significantly because it's having significant impacts on all of our commodity prices, food and energy prices. We'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. If this were to fall dramatically, um, then um, we could probably see those energy and commodity prices rally again. If it can continue to hold on to this upside trend, then this runs into problems with um, other countries and uh, putting some major pressure on them. So it's kind of a balancing act here in um, UUP. Then let's take a look. We've got, um, we've got Garmin, uh, no, excuse me, not Garmin, uh, GRPN Groupon will be reporting today. We've got um, um, some utilities in here, energy reporting today. Um, PLTR, uh, looks like PLTR is disappointed here this morning, moving lower. Um, some games, TTWO, so for those gamers out there, you might wanna be keeping an eye on that. So again, if you wanna catch that full list, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video to take you back to the morning blog, and you can catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that thumbs up button um uh, excuse me the subscribe button and then that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and then if you click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that will continue to help the channel to grow and it's the engagement with the channel that makes the most important so thank you for everyone who's going through and thumbs up being a uh, um, those comments um, that helps a lot and I just want to say thanks a bunch also it, thank you um, huge to uh, folks that continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video let's take a look oh and by the way um, this Tuesday I'll be doing a public e-learning um, so everyone's invited so you might want to check out um, over there on the hit run candlesticks in the public or free room there's no password required and um, I'll be over there Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern so if you guys have an interest in that come on over on Tuesday let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security before you decide to jump into a trade, make sure you understand the risk and you understand the why of the trade before you get into any position, long or short this market, because the volatility has been very challenging. So make sure you understand those risks and that they fit your trading rules and guidelines. Let's take a look here. First off, I want to mention um, there's some interesting moves uh, beginning to happen here in um, 
uranium stocks. Take a look here at CCJ. Now, certainly we do have resistance in this chart that we need to think about um, uh, for that upside move. But as you can see, some of these alternative energies are starting to perk up. CCJ, nice day on Friday, trying to push on through here a little bit to the upside. See if it can pop out of that resistance up here. We'll have to wait and see, but certainly looking bullish. And if you take a look at URA, we're seeing kind of the same thing in uranium. Looks like it's trying to make a push here this morning as well. So keep an eye on URA. Looking pretty good. Take a look at Cisco. Um, I've placed a price alert here on Cisco and I've been watching this one pretty closely uh, for a potential pop through that resistance here. Now, certainly we're going to have earnings coming up here on the 17th, so we have to consider that carefully. And we do want to pay attention to the fact that this is still in a downtrend. But that opportunity that this could rally up through into that gap is certainly there so watch that closely our upside trend here is trying to move through and push through this area so it's looking pretty decent keep an eye on that um, to see if that can push on through let's take a look at um, a couple stocks that might be going the other way take a look at bmy if you guys are looking for a potential short bmy might be the place to look um, if we take a look at our technicals here on the chart notice that we have failed um, right there around our 50 day and that 50 day moving average is starting to roll over short term moving averages have crossed through providing that resistance here in the chart so we we have to challenge this price support here in the chart we've broken down so you might want to watch for a little bit of pushback before you may want to get into a short position watch that carefully because then we might sink on down toward that 200 day moving average i'm going to, going to put merck on that chart as well as you can see merck has had a pretty good sell-off here failing up here at our 50 that 50 is rolling over short-term moving averages moving down through so any rally back in here with a lower high i would watch for that potential failure and that potential move down toward that 200 day moving average so watch that close if you're looking for some short positions let's take a look at some other bullish positions here in the market if we take a look at um, amd amd has been pushing up here pretty strongly now too many days up to the upside if you ask me and probably running into some price resistance so what i'd want to do at this point there's been a lot of conversation about amd a lot of hype a lot of energy around it um, obviously those folks that jumped in early got punished pretty heavily but now we're coming back so what we want to see is a little rest or consolidation in here a little rest a little pullback and then we'd look for that upside move here um, in that chart i would want to chase it right now it's just pretty elevated away from a comfortable stop level for me but i do like um, the pattern that's starting to show up here in the chart and we'll want to keep an eye on that you might want to notice that this last push to the upside, we did finally break that downtrend and we held in here. So that's where that becomes very, very bullish to me. So keep an eye on AMD. You might also want to keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks that have been looking pretty good. Take a look at um, a Mondo, whoops. Mondelez. Mondelez breaking through some resistance here in the chart. As you can see, we've got an inverted head and shoulders pattern showing in the chart. So we're breaking through that level here and now we're pulling back to try and test it as support. I keep an eye on this. If this can hold in this upside trend, look for that next opportunity for some of these. Clearly we're still struggling with that downtrend, but we're starting to show that bullish sign maybe of that reversal back to the upside. And we've been seeing some of these defensive sector stocks um, coming around and looking pretty darn good. If we take a look at um, Coke, Coke has been trying in here, pushing up through um, that resistance again, holding in here on this trend. This may be about ready to uh, try and push on higher. Keep an eye on that. We've been seeing stocks like CLX tried to get going, failed here just recently in that chart, um, struggling along this downtrend. But as you can see, we have these bullish patterns that are showing up where these higher lows 
um, and we're getting that whipsaw right in here. And I can't tell you if CLX is going to move on through, but we've been seeing some of those efforts coming along pretty well. Like if we take a look at Hershey, um, Hershey uh, showing lots of bullishness here in that chart. Again, kind of those old boring defensive sector stocks, which you wouldn't expect to be seeing uh, doing quite so well. Um, you know, dividend payers doing quite so well. And what we're looking at is a reversal market back to the upside. But we are, we're seeing some of those defensive sector stocks perking up. So let's watch carefully on those if they continue to move through. So with that guys, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. I hope you had a great weekend. We're probably going to see, um, well, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a little bit of a choppy environment for a couple of days as we try to decide so we can have pops where we pop in the morning and pull back and back and forth here as we wait on that CPI data. So be a little bit careful. Try not to over trade. Remember where we are in this market pressed right against that resistance and overnight reversals could change everything. So be a little bit careful. I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here right early Tuesday morning. Have a great day. everyone.